Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 447. Uh, each week uh, we meet here to uh, review and um, uh, and answer the uh, questions asked on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Uh, with us tonight we have Masataki Wasa, uh, uh, fresh from the... Um, strawberries and cream end of Wimbledon um, and 100 miles uh, north of um, Masataki is Tim Kappa. Tim is just back from uh, the, um, um, uh, the the, the uh, township of New York yeah, and he's um, um, product he's, expert summit in New York. Thank you. Tim. <laughs> Hey. What, what was it again? It's the Google Product Expert Summit in New York. Right. Okay. Jesus, the township of New York, my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, can we see? Um, all right. Uh, we have a question, uh, number one, uh, from Kath uh, Cusabine. Uh, and Kath wants to know, do you use H1 in the homepage? Uh, um, yeah, that's what she wants to know. Well, typically, like depending on what CMS you use, uh, the title of your page, that where you set it, it becomes your H1. So it, it's pretty normal. Uh, if you don't have a CMS that does that for you and you're, you know, you're, you're sculpting your home page or any page, the very beginning of the thing. Yeah, typically it's H1. Um, you use an H1. Um, and then, you know, you break it down into your substructures, which would normally come out like as an H2. Uh, but in the whole essence of things, um just because you're not using an h1 doesn't mean you know something's not going to be understood by google um and also if you've got multiple h1s because you haven't been able to figure out how to you know style the the actual size of the fonts in css and your h2s and h3s and h4s are all terrible or they're all the same size and you end up using all h1s like um amazon you know it doesn't really matter it, it, do you know what i mean it's like it's not something that's going to turn up the dial it's not something that's going to turn down the dial um as long as you have a proper structure in place uh you know with titles and you know you, whether you provide depending on what the page looks like or something like this but yeah it's not going to break anything you know um so yeah I, like, I mean i wouldn't obsess with just on the h1s but if you do have the ability to have your main um like you know on your home page something on, on your home page is going to be like let's say you're a tile company and it's called rhb tiles right you typically on a tile company would have something like you know your name of the business welcome to rhb tiles and just to have it slightly smaller underneath it your tagline for the business the home of uh, multi-purpose tiles you know and because that's going to be slightly smaller that would be in an h2 but if it's all in h1 it's not going to make break the bank but if you do you know if you can style it properly then, then and then great you know all right tim thank you Okay, let's roll on to number two on our run list um, from Patty Cothrade. Patty T. Cothrade. Um, 
She complains of a significant drop in traffic after installing a content delivery network to their site. Um, and she wants to know, has anyone seen a significant drop of traffic after doing this? Um, not really. Um, assuming that the CDN hasn't messed with your site. So if all things are running well and all things are fine, it's essentially just your images. Okay. So if everything's loading, if everything is showing fine, um, if Google is uh, rediscovering and you know re-indexing these pages and 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 all's fine and you know speed and everything's fine no you shouldn't see any drop of traffic um but cdns can play a bit of well it depends on what you, you you're using on the cdn like what uh i think it was last week was it last week even Google went down because of the CDN that they were using. Like, um, and I think uh, Amazon had. So, you, you, well, that you know what I mean. That would that would lead to a drop in traffic if the whole thing went balked for an entire day without you noticing, or uh, five hours without anyone noticing or any customers saying hey you know what i can't access your site or anything like that um yeah for sure you're going to have a big drop in traffic um but all things being equal if everything is working correctly then no you sh you shouldn't normally excellent thank you tim right uh, let's go to the next This one from Ethan Benz, um, and he says that we have we have recently moved to another city, and so we have a local contractor site. I, I'm guessing that's contractor. Oh, uh, it has been ranking well for keywords, and we've seen some good results in the past couple of months, and rankings have been going up. Uh, we have just recently moved to a suburb over. So we technically are in a different city. The, the same week that the core update happened. Uh, this week, everything has dropped and dropped badly. Um, like across the board, except for the brand keywords. I'm thinking this is a combination of the two that hurt us. What are your thoughts on fixing this? Um, most of our keywords were focused around the city we moved from um sadly i i don't think um uh, he in in uh, a later comment uh, i don't think he added a, a an address okay so so this is the thing that we kind of need to understand here okay so right are you talking business page or organic or both like okay so if you if you um i don't know i'm just um what's a city in like i don't know um I mean, dallas is in texas okay and then what's the next one over i don't know oh god okay so let's say your your uh, business page was you know xyz contractors in dallas and this was your location and your location was in dallas and your site is contractors in dallas and you know it was all focused around that okay so we've got two different things here um and of course you have your address on your site right we're in dallas and my address is on site now you switch addresses to the next thing the next city over town over whatever and you update your address in gmb we're certainly going to see a shift 
in the GMB because your location has changed for your business page. So any local search queries for, for Dallas is going to be dropping slightly. And for your new location in your GMB, you will have increased slightly, right? But I wouldn't expect any change, regardless of your shift of address, to affect your organic, right? Because your organic, even if you updated your address within your um on your website and your even your website let's i don't know maybe it was in the footer or maybe on the contact page or whatever and the whole thing is still like optimal you haven't you guys haven't changed anything it's like it's we, we haven't shifted anything it's all for like dallas but you've shifted and the only thing that's literally visibly changed on that site is your footer address to the next town over that would not or should not like make any difference whatsoever in organic results right Excellent. if the if yeah if the core update happened and your organic results shifted it definitely wasn't from you moving address because the only thing on your site that's you said has changed like you haven't optimized for the next city over yet you haven't switched it to that it's still for the main original and the only thing that was changed on the actual website was the address that will not make a difference, but it will make a difference almost immediately within 24 hours of changing your address in your GMB. Okay, because that is literally your location for GMB. Um, so that will make a that will make a you will see that instantly. And typically GMB has its own updates and not really affected by any core updates. Thank you, Tim. It should enlighten Ethan. Um, well, let's have a look at number four on our run list. Uh, he said, that, how can I make Google not show this page, which is the opposite of what most people want? He said, um, she said, uh, Natalie said, uh, hi, I, I have two questions related with SEO, I think. I just finished the website and when I searched for it on Google, <clears throat> the maintenance page still shows. I wanted to ask, how can I make Google not show this page? Will it just disappear if I delete the page? Another thing, when I write newcop.net on Google, it shows the site, but it looks like it's not indexed with the home page, even though I've configured it on WordPress. Um, are there any recommendations? Thanks. Um, so, so that was your development page and it's been pushed live, right? But the development page has been indexed. Okay right well if it's been pushed live now the next time google starts crawling your dev site your de your dev your, your development page um it will re-index the new or unless you had a completely separate ecosystem development page where you update things on and it's never pushed live i don't understand but let's assume it was a completely separate page right that um doesn't get pushed live that's where you test stuff in um and it's never live well then well no she said if i delete it so it must be a completely separate page um i would just no index it like because i'm assuming if it's your development page you're going to reuse it so just no index it if you are never going to use it again fine and delete it four of you know four or four not coming back but like and i'm assuming your new site is connected to the live site now is uh you you know you've registered it with search console um update your site map in there and it just takes time but by deleting a page oh, in fact can you can you remove pages in the new search console still uh, I don't, shit, I don't know. 
yeah, I think you can actually remove. Yeah, in, in your search console, so register that and ask it to be removed. Um, I'm sure you can still ask up to 10 things to be removed at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, not if it's if it's like a completely separate URL, fine, but yeah. Excellent, Tim. Fantastic. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Number five is uh, from Mariam Sharif. Uh, it's titled something about a shorter version of the domain. Um, I hope I've got this right, but it, it says, is it all right to optimize a domain, but use another shorter version of this optimized domain for marketing purposes with redirects set on it? Uh, to the initial uh, optimized domain. Okay, so like optimized domain, you can't actually optimize a domain. You optimize a site. So yes, it's perfectly normal. Um, a, a lot of like, um, you know, service area businesses, contractors out on the road will have a initial domain which they couldn't get hold of and that was their domain and then something eventually becomes more user friendly easier to see on a fire and a car um and it's now become available and then you change to that and all you do is just 301 redirect it because it's easier for people to type in yeah perfectly normal yeah, yeah. i'm just wondering whether in this case um they're wondering whether to buy a shorter domain as if you like a short link so they're going to keep the original domain name but they have a shorter version which they're going to use for marketing purposes yeah and redirect to the you know the longer version you know, it's yeah. a sort of short link to where you might be catchy uh, in the um mm. social media and so on and so forth you know. yeah a lot of people do that yeah the only thing I would say is that you are going to redirect. So that's going to have a performance cost. Mm. We're talking about milliseconds in most cases, but still. And you have to maintain two domains and you have to ensure that the redirect is always in place. Yeah, like if I was doing it for, like like you said, if you if you were opening a brand new brand, like the actual name of the brand is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, and you're just buying for marketing like SDY or whatever, super, uh, what would be the uh, S super, uh, S, anyway, you know what I mean? Like SDY.com, just for people to go, hey, you know, have you checked out SDY, kind of whatever. Um, if the whole marketing and everything is built around SDY, I, yeah, like Massa said, you know, you will have a performance cost on that. And if the entire brand marketing strategy is just going to be built around the smaller version, it may actually be better to just do it on the smaller version and then redirect the other one. And, you know, your brand name is still supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but everybody knows you as SDY, hashtag SDY, whatever it may actually be worth thinking about that. But if it was on the flip side, like um, what I mentioned, just easier for people to see visually on a on a van driving past, when it's only gonna be worth X percentage of direct traffic, not like all of it, then that's cool. But yeah, you have a think what, like Massa said, because yeah, then everybody and direct traffic will always be going to SDY. It would just make sense for you to use that SDY. I don't know. It's up to you. Good one, Tim. Great. And thank you, Masataki. Um, okay, let's go to number uh, six on our run list. Um, George Mulford says, hello, everyone. I have two presumably dumb questions. One, uh, up to a, a several months ago, I had a Shopify e-commerce store, which was ranking pages uh, four, four, and eight, respectively, for targeted keywords. 
This was no effort on my part, just happened organically. And since then, the shop has been closed down for a month or two, but is now back online. Unfortunately, I now seem to be not ranking for any keywords at all, um, despite the site being exactly the same. Um, why could this be? I'm, I'm putting my vote in for uh, a no index. Um, he, he said, I understand the site being down for a month or so um, could do this, as I presume it becomes dead in Google, Google's eyes. Um, does this mean uh, it, it will uh, eventually get back to the original position? Now, this leads me to my second question. How long does it take, does it take for SEO efforts to materialise? I'm not um, being impatient. I'm more curious about the mechanisms that propagate improvements. I can anticipate this is an ambig ambiguous process that is dependent on competition and the frequency that Google rechecks pages. Yeah, well, if it was a couple of months, essentially you disappeared, you know, and you're starting again, so you're starting again. There could have been a core update in between. There's something may have changed algorithmically and you're no longer particularly relevant. So there's no need for you to be back to, you know, four. Um, uh, the, f the first thing I would look at is, you know, in your search console, has Google revisited the site or even in your, um, even in your own, um, your host, your crawl logs, has Google revisited? Um, because they may not have, and because you were dead for two months, they may have just thought, now the site's gone and not even bother. Um, so that's the first thing, make sure Google's come back. Um, make sure they know that you're back. Um, and then it's gonna take a little while for Google to move through the site again and uh, re-understand what's going on with the site. You may not come back in the same place. If you've done any changes to the site when you reworked on it, you may actually appear better than before. But yeah, you know, um, if you turn things on and off, you sometimes won't be where you were. Yeah, I mean, it is playing with fire a bit. Um, you know, they said that the site is exactly the same as it had been, and if the URL hasn't, you know, if the URL, ha you know, if the structure hasn't changed and the URLs haven't changed, then I suppose that you have a slightly better chance, um, because Google does remember the addresses for a very long time. Um, but the problem is, is that if you're offline for two months, um, obviously it's not good news because Google, if Google had been sending traffic to a non-existing site, then Google was failing the searches. So to that extent, obviously it's not really documented and it's not really discussed or um, stated authoritatively but still i think that there will be an issue with with a site with with google's trust of that site if it switches on and off because google would never know when it goes off again then as google needs to think do i wish to send people looking for that to this site which may or may not exist you know it's a schrodinger's site so it may take a while, you may never recover, or you may do better. It's impossible to say. Thank you, Mr. Taki. All right. Um, we are now looking at number seven from Cheryl Daniels. Um, Cheryl said, I am relocating and will need to change my address on Google My Business. Um, she goes on to say, so I am relocating and will need to change my address on Google My Business and directly listings, etc. Articles I have read say, do not or do not say, 
uh, with the Google verification must be redone. One, will we need to go through the Google verification process again? Uh, two, um, a multiple directory listings uh, cannot be accessed uh, to update with new address uh, since they were set up by SAO companies for us and we don't have the login details. How best do we deal with this? Thanks for your advice. Okay, so here's a question. Are you, is this a physical address you're changing, where as in customers come to you, right? Or is this a service area business? Because if you're a service area business, I wouldn't even bother changing the address because if everything is there and it's working and you're in that location, then I wouldn't bother even updating in GMB your address and I wouldn't bother going through um, the the, the uh, citation, the local directories. Having said that, if you've shifted to another town over, then yeah, even as a service area, you're still going to not be particularly well serving the other area and still, you know, the new area. Um, so however if you're an actual physical location yeah you're going to change it in gmb change it on your website and yes you will need to work through those um directories even if you don't have login details some of them will say uh are you the owner and then you can do the whole login thing right some of them will say update these details you'll have to update the details and the other ones you know you're just going to have to battle through you're going to have to use the contact page you're going to have to use the thing because the more you get done the better the actual understanding of your physical location is going to be um and i would try to get a lot of them you said an seo company built these i'm a bit concerned because they didn't give you any login details or any main dashboard, then they've probably built to some really tier three, tier four rubbish. Those, yeah, you may not need to do, um, but you definitely going to need to get the aggregators. And you, if you, you know, yeah, um, you'll need to get the aggregators. You'll need to. Um, uh, you'll need to just persist some of them will say update this information um just use the contact page on them contact them and you know keep a spreadsheet of which ones you've updated and you'll have to revisit it's a pain in the ass and it will take you a while if you don't have those logins it will take you quite some time to get them to update um because you know directories and some of them will charge you now unfortunately um so yeah but you're going to need to do it unfortunately it's a dirty business in some cases isn't it all right um, let's go to number eight um partha sama wants to know why my post is not even in the top 100 of google search uh, he said my content score is 90 and it's fully indexed What content score? Goodness knows, it doesn't say. <laughs> I mean, well, I'll, 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 I'll answer this. Um, uh, it's um, um, why isn't my post not even in the top 100 of Google search? Uh, everybody can't uh, have um, what they want. It, if it's uh, being occupied by uh, um, 100 sites uh, yeah, that but, Google thinks are better than yours, go ahead, Tim. What the, yeah, like Massa said, what the hell's a content score? Uh, well, you know, uh, you can't argue with, with it. People just believe that um, 
um, a, a contest. Yeah, look, or... Exactly what Jim said. If mm. if if your site is not in the top 100, it doesn't deserve to be in the top 100. You keep working on it. Forget about any other stupid metrics you find from stupid third party tools, right? You just keep working on it until you actually start working through uh better content better production better internal linking better things and you keep working through it right you keep um uh, marketing the site you keep pushing it um yeah uh, it's just the way it is there's no like rhyme or reason the other flip side of it like this content like there's that video on youtube where uh, webmaster central matt cuts asked, answered a question like i don't know 10 years ago and someone said to him why is my site like on number three and all the metrics are saying it should be on number one and so why is it on three and matt cuts literally said i will need a team of engineers to reverse engineer the entire google thing taking me six months just to figure out why that's number three and not number one right so if if a google engineer is saying it'll take him six months to reverse engineer all the things just to figure out why something's at three to one there's no way nothing on hell is going to tell you why you're sitting like not even the top 100 and no third party tool will ever tell you that just keep working on your content keep interlinking keep marketing keep pushing it end of excellent tim okay let's roll into number nine um Robbie King asked the question, he said, so keyword density, how much of a thing uh, is it these days? That implies that it was once. Um, it's not. And it's it not. Was. It's not. It's not. Don't even freaking keep reading this crap. It's not. Mm -hmm. Look, you've got to mention it somewhere on your site, what you do, right? But forget it sweet jesus in hell this shit needs to die <laughs> holy mother robbie surely you have actually searched something and you've just got and you had a little feature snippet where there's like literally a paragraph i mean hey presto you see this in dictionary stuff all the time like really come on mate okay let's um move on um let me see interesting discussion which can be read uh, on the uh, dumb seo questions facebook group and it's that time again um it's thank you for watching time um look i i um we'll be back at, at the same time uh, and to do this uh, all again uh, next week um until then um uh, i can't go leave without uh, mentioning the, the the fantastic efforts of people like michael martinez um and and so many others that that, that escape me right now but um uh yeah um they do a fantastic job but um you guys here uh, have been turning up week after week for five or six or seven or eight years i can't remember um but um yeah um without, without you it wouldn't, wouldn't be such a valuable resource Okay, we'll be back, yeah, as I said, uh, as soon as I figure out which button to, to press. Okay.